My name is Modstab, and welcome to the first Let's Play on the new channel. That's right. You guys can see it now. It is Warcraft 3, and if you've been following my Facebook, you got little snippets as to what game was coming out this Monday. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us. It has been a long and arduous adventure, and with the recent announcements that Blizzard had on Warcraft 3 Reforged, and me being drunk, drunk with nostalgia, okay? Let's be civil here. Let's be mature, okay? Let's be family friendly. <laughs> I am drunk with nostalgia, and because of my nostalgic kick, you guys are gonna have to suffer through this game in all its glorious despair, RTS, real-time strategy, gloriousness. So, um, real quick before we jump into this, I just wanna preface this with, this is one of the games that really got me into the whole story-driven RPG type games, which t in today is my favorite type of game genre. So I love the story behind this. I'm horrible at the gameplay, so don't expect any high levels of play on the RTS front. However, I thought what better way to start the channel off than with a game that got me into a lot of the favorite game tropes and game genres that I'm into right now. Um, so without further ado, we're going to jump right into this thing, and I will see you guys when we get in there. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Woo! Okay, so these cinematics are some of the greatest cinematics of their time. Okay, I'm just saying. Just saying, at least as far the as games are concerned. The sands of time have run out, son of Duratan. Uh-oh. Looks like a good time here. Drink my, drink my tea. Ready. Cries of war. Watch this video. Echo upon the winds. The remnants of the past scar the land. Friggin', I don't know what it is with Blizzard and like ravens and crows. They just, they love the blackbirds. Which is okay? besieged once again. Oh, here we go. Conflict. Conflict begins, boys. Conflict begins. The eye blink. The classic eye blink. Here we go. That means war is upon us. Death is about to befall this great nation. <sighs> yes, interpreting nostalgic videos for you guys since day one. Cheers. Hmm. In like two seconds, there's gonna be a guy that falls down on the right side of your screen. I'm, I'll try to point it out, but follow it because it's freaking hilarious. Okay, here it comes. Yeah! <laughs> Get wrecked, son. Heroes oh, arise to challenge fate and lead their brethren to battle. Classic, like, this is such a product of its time. Like, every single war movie in game had, like, let's just have two armies run at each other. That's so cinematic and glory like no other. And then the creepy beam from the sky, it destroys everything. Yeah. Reign of Chaos! I swear they the used war. this exact cut in Diablo to their destiny. Maybe I'm wrong. If you guys have any like insight onto that or any proof, get get me get me in touch with that because I I swear I saw that cinematic in Diablo 2. But I could just be meshing two games together. You never know. Also, creepy pasta dreams for the win. What better way? to show off a protagonist and to give him a creepypasta dream because that oh yes the glorious loading screen that was you guys will get used to that here kind real quick was that? the best creepypasta kind of one it was not a nightmare young mm. war chief but a vision but a vision follow me yeah and I will reveal what your future <coughs> Yeah, the great prophet shall reveal the future I trope. Know what this is all about, but I'll play along. <laughs> it's like, hey, I've never met this guy before. He came to me in a creepy pasta dream. He refers to himself as a prophet. 
Let's follow him. Yeah. He's, he's a bird. Let's follow him. This this will be great. Skillfully done. I don't care. Very skillfully good. done. Skillfully done. The path so the this is obviously a prologue uh, chapter, so you can tell it's going to have a lot of tutorials and things like that. But it does have some story elements that are important to kind of the world building. So I figured, although it's kind of boring and rather simple, let's go ahead and start with this. That way we can have all that. Let's wreck this guy. Get Shrek, son. I know when I first played this game, I was not aware of the whole like shift Q mechanic. So like I can hit that guy right click on shift with the other two, and it'll attack him in that specific order that I selected him. I actually didn't really start getting into that until I played Heroes of the Storm. Um, but it's such a necessary mechanic in games where you have a lot of busy work to be done like real-time strategy stuff so for honor shrek him mm. yeah let's keep going mm. for honor look at the water look at the beautiful Orchid, clear water the group of murloc raiders in the I'm gonna wreck these river. the murlocs would make excellent targets for your new chain lightning <laughs> stuff to have thrall use his new ability Oh, get shrekt. Yeah. Some monsters drop treasure when they are destroyed. Some monsters, I don't treasure care, it's a potion of mana. But I should keep it that way I have it for the next chapter. So that's one thing that was not exclusive, I don't think, to Warcraft 3 when it first came out, but something that was very interesting about Warcraft 3 when it came out was the fact that you had hero classes that could carry items that would boost their attack or give them extra survivability or a mana potion in this case, which lets me kill things really fast. Yes. Hmm. Oh, we're about to drop in then that time, boys. The wolf howl signifies that night has begun. Be wary, my And I remember playing these first couple uh, missions in Warcraft 3 so much as a kid. Like if I was sick or something and we ran out of internet, which periodically happened with the glory that is Charter. Um, I would I would play through Warcraft 3 because it didn't require an internet provider, or internet service. Um, <laughs> so this, this first level, I've just about yeah. memorized in its entirety. For Everything honor. else past that, not Double. so much, but, you know, it is For what it is. Yes. But For it did, honor. it did, this game did kind of detailer yeah. one of the most expansive For and honor. successful universes, Double. kind of on the gaming market in general. I mean, obviously, World of Warcraft. So classic. Oh, hey, the Prophet. Let's click on the birdie. Hello, birdie. He's invulnerable. What a troll. Greeting, son of Dirat. <laughs> I knew you'd find your way. I'm a bird. It was you. Rookie day. You be nice to the bird. Who be nice to the bird. Roo roo. How do you know me? I know many. I swear, my dog only barks you while I'm recording. Me. It's the most obnoxious my thing ever. At this time is unimportant. What is it? Is that you rally your people and leave these shores immediately? Leave. Uh oh. What's this all about? <laughs> human. <laughs> I left my humanity behind long ago. So I'm mysterious. Different now. Mm. I'm a bird. <laughs> I've seen the future and beheld the great burning shadow that is coming to consume this world. You sense it as well, don't you? Mm. The demons are and they bonded. Now they're best friends. And only by leading your people across the sea to the distant lands of Kalimdor will you have a chance to stand against them. But how could we... I will answer all of your questions in time, young war chief. For now, rally your warriors and prepare to leave this land. We will speak again. I'm a bird! I just love how he's just like, oh, I'm out of here, boys! Bird form. Spirits tell me that I should trust him. Oh yeah. Hey. This is the glorious glorious victory scheme to let you know your unit scores. However, it doesn't matter in story mode. You just gotta win. That's all that matters, right? I told you you guys are gonna become very familiar with these loading screens. They're very nostalgic to me. Because I remember all the custom games we would play you'd be on a loading screen that took a template from like the story driven mission for the load screen and they would just be totally different maybe it took place with the same like uh, like backgrounds and textures and stuff but oh custom games in this were wonderful 
prophet has yet to show himself. Not the bird. I hope I'm not making a huge mistake. <laughs> Some random guy you just met who can turn into a bird and fly away. And you might be worried about trusting him? Then we must prepare this immediately. I want my warriors to have food and proper lodgings when they arrive. He's a good chief. That's all I need in my life. Has there been any word from Grom Hellscream? He and the Warsong clan were supposed to have been here by now. Oh, no, ye. War Chief. We haven't heard from Hellscream in some time. So the plot Damn. thickens. Hey, it's a bird. Do you know that weird prophet guy, Birdie? Hello? Do you know? Do you know the prophet? Do you know the prophet, Birdie? Of the screen indicates <laughs> that your quest journal has been updated. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Find out more we're about just gonna get these guys started. Oh, I'm just gonna walk him yeah. over here to the defense. Once Hurry up with your tutorials. Give me my peons, sucker. You will automatically travel back and forth between the gold mine and your closest great hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here are a few additional peons to increase the rate. We'll do two. We'll do two here, and then we'll do one. The amount of gold that you currently possess is displayed in the upper. Yeah, yeah I know exactly how where it's displayed. Stop telling me how to play the game, sucker. Um, what do we got? We got three here, and then one there. Um, I think if I remember correctly, the ideal amount of people in a gold mine for like humans or orcs is going to be five. Um, we'll probably only need one person on logarinos. Ready to work. Um, and then I'll make a I'll make a peon strictly for building after this point. Additional orc burrows will have What's the quest here? Burrows so the one thing it's an undiscovered quest. Troops. So we'll figure that out in a minute. But the one thing I did appreciate about Warcraft Three is, on top of being a real-time strategy game, if you did the main quests um, or the main story mode, excuse me, you had your first quest, and then there was actually optional quests you could do to get better armor or gear to make your guys survive a little bit longer. Um, so right now we got to build burrows, war mill, barracks, and to five burrow, grunts. Select one of your and, and grunts are kind of like the main military force of Ready to work. whatever faction you have to go with. You they call them a little different, but they're essentially the warriors. Whenever a unit finishes training from this building, he will automatically travel to the rally I know, I know, I just placed a rally, rally point. point. Stop talking Select to me. One of your Stop talking to me, narrator! Right Frig off! Ground. Where's the bird guy? I liked him better. Whoa! Um, we want burrows. So you can shift click on these guys to select multiple. We now, need, what, 340? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this guy down as well. And when our. When we're finished here, we'll queue that up. Um, then we want to go ahead and queue up well a war mill. Can increase the efficiency um, we'll do this harvest. here and place it right Try next to him. That way he only has to go here near instead near of all the way back to the main camp. Wood. And then finally, we're going to want to do two barracks once we get enough, which we should we be able to... I know, dang it. I was hoping we could queue that bad boy up before we got the gold. But not a big deal. So like a lot of these, uh, a lot of these games, uh, at least in Warcraft standards, I suppose it's a little different for every kind of manufacturer, every different game, every uh, variation of this type of game here. But one thing I did notice is, in my limited and very minor experience with being even remotely good at any type of RTS game, was that you had to queue up everything like you had to queue up multiple buildings oh get over your lumber now, self burrow has been completed the peon who built why didn't you build two burrows to a new i'm disappointed to with you the rate i queued a burrow lumber, train additional listen to me you little grunt stick your crap okay i asked for one simple task and that is to build build it and they will come build okay we're about half done here i want to try to finish these at the same time uh, what does it require? So 70 lumber. So I'm hoping that once this guy get, by the time this guy queues up, I'm hoping I can have this second guy here. Something you're doing? Well, actually, mm -hmm. probably we'll take one of these gold guys. Uh, yeah, we'll take one of these gold guys. Um, once this guy frees up, he should go ahead and just um, build that next one for us if everything works as properly with the queue. We are gonna need 10 more lumber though. Work complete. Sweetness. And we'll take this guy and we'll get that barracks ready to go. Thank you. 
So we're gonna get him building. And since we don't really need much, um, we don't really need gold at this point. At least not a lot. I'm gonna take one of those guys, double up on the lumber here. That way we can summon the units and get the upgrades basically as soon as we need to. And I forgot what a warrior, what a warrior takes for food. Because if you can't tell on the very top right here, I'm sure you hear, overheard the narrator explaining it. But there is a certain amount of population you can have. And the way to increase that is by um, burrows or farms or whatever your faction happens to be using. We're going to get this guy queued up here. And we're going to send him back to the mine afterwards. I love the queue system so much. What do these guys cost? Yeah, so I... Probably actually could have got away with it. Um, one, two. We'll just do three Continue here. Producing grunts until you reach and then we'll go here. And then we'll go ahead and queue up three here. Oh, yes, yes, gold. Gold, gold, gold. We need the gold. These bad boys are expensive. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll do two for sure, and then the, they should finish at the same time, and then we'll be golden from there, so... Alright, I'll probably fast forward through this portion because at this point in time, we are literally just playing the waiting game until everything gets summoned. So I will see you guys when we finish summoning all these beautiful people. Alright, mission complete. We're going to go ahead and throw these guys here because the next port in this mission is a, is a kind of defense of the towers, essentially. So orcs are we're in violation of the Alliance Internment Act. We've already captured one of your leaders. If you surrender now... We'll spare your lives. I don't care about no act, suckers. War chief, they say they've captured one of our leaders. Maybe they're referring to Grom. I hope not. But if they have captured Hellscream, I'll make them regret it. Loktarogar! Come, my warriors. We must drive the humans back. Yeah, get them filthy humans. Get them. Get them, boys. We're gonna have we're gonna micro thrall back just a little bit here. That way the towers are soaking the damage until my warriors get up here, so. And then we got um one warrior that's on its way, so. Hey, hey big boy. Alright, we saved the towers, my friends. Save the towers. This guy just doesn't know what he's doing. Maybe if I run back and forth, they'll leave me alone. I know we don't technically have to kill these towers, so I'm actually going to go ahead and pass them up just for just for time's sake here. We don't really need to destroy those. And I don't think they're... Yeah, it's just the main quest of finding Grom here, so we're going to go ahead. I don't care about repair. You can select, like, the... You can select the auto-repair on your peons if they're close to buildings and they'll just repair them as they get damaged so we'll we'll get into that mechanic later on but for now i don't really care <coughs> i know i can destroy gates it's amazing how these hints just so happen to appear after yes i'm done just doing exactly what you're trying to tell me i can't do Ugh. wreck these humans wreck them in their stupid blue shields just look at them look at them their stupid little armor, stupid little shields. Yeah. All right, let's roll. Let's roll onward. Onward and outward to Crom Hellscream. Now, if you were playing this a lot more seriously, I have a lot of resources right now, so I should be micromanaging them and building things up in my base so I can get more upgrades and yada yada yada. But that's not how the story mode works, and that's not why I'm playing story mode. So, yep, I'm over it. I'm over it. The Shami Mommies, they do range attacks and cast Spurge and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You, can, you can toggle between them essentially by clicking here and using their abilities. Not concerned, once again. I'm going to go ahead and lightning zap these moves. Get that guy racks and then we'll go around number two. And thus, the the whole separation of Eastern Kingdom and Kelimdor happened. That's essentially what we're talking about here as far as why their home base is in their respective areas. So, Because I think the humans uh, stayed on Eastern Kingdom there, which is where they'd had the Iron Forge and Stormwind and, and all that kind of stuff. And that's where Lordaeron Kingdom was, as far as um, in regards to, like, lore here. 
And then your orcs went to Kelimdor, where they set up like Ogremar and Thunderbluff and all that kind of Fort stuff. So. Warcraft strong, universe. But the area is protected by Fort Hard Guard Towers. We'll just wreck those guard towers. Don't worry. Must be free. Yes, destroy them all. Yes. I forgot how tough these horsemen are. Got some beefy little armor there. And they do a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, unfortunately for them, the computer decided to attack my champion class, who can soak a pretty decent amount of damage. Not the beefiest of tanks, but, you know, he gets the job done. And we'll queue these up, and then we'll be golden. We'll be out of here. All right. Oh, this guy's getting wrecked to Gino by this tower. I think we'll be able to take out this tower before it kills him. I think we can actually take all these towers out without losing anybody. I know Thrall here is going to be soaking some damages. We might have to micro him out. We'll micro him out just to make sure. There you go. Everybody can go up there, and I'll make sure that tower's soaking somebody else before. Oh, they like this Thrall boy. They like Thrall boy. I ain't going to let my Thrall die, suckers. I'm just going to stand here on the point. Hey, yeah, yeah, minions, go do my bidding, please. Thank you. Uh, we rescued him by killing everything. That's how you rescue people, right? You just kill everything? You know, Liam Neeson, this bad boy? Ron, oh, my brother. I'm fine, little brother. Luckily, mm -hmm. they only injured my pride. Great. Because we're getting out of here now. That wolf kind of looks like a boar. <laughs> Finally. Oh, graphics. I am stoked for the Reforge to see all like the graphic changes they're putting into it. It's going to look so pretty. Humans own ships. Perfect. But we'll need to wait for the rest of the horde. Convenient. The horde is assembled, Warchief. Right now. Convenience command. has appeared. Anytime the main protagonist needs something, whoa. We have to wait for six billion gold. War chief, we have dug up six billion gold right next to your feet. Oh my gosh, how could this happen? Oh hey, it's the bird. Yeah. Hey, oh! Look at us go, we wrecked that filthy alliance. Yeah, wrecked him. Wrecked a Gino. Alrighty, so that was the first episode of Warcraft 3. Let me know what you guys thought of this uh, this game in the comment section down below. Obviously, with Reforge coming out, I think later on this year, um, we're going to go ahead and do a, another play and try to do kind of a comparison um, of what the graphics look like and whether that adds more immersion or whether the story was good enough. Obviously, a good story can handle bad graphics just fine. And bad graphics loosely because at the time, these were some pretty decent graphics. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me in today's episode. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys skedaddle on out of here because I don't want to hold you up too long. Unless you like looking at this beautiful face. And I'm just going to do a live stream where I'm just looking into the camera intimately because camera gives me compliments. That's why, that's why I actually do this. I do this because I like the compliments my camera gives me. Thank you, baby girl. Love you. We oui. will see you guys next time. Toodles!